Hello and welcome to this Taylor Swift Eras Tour vlog. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? This is me from the future, but I just wanted to say that I am still buzzing off of this Taylor Swift concert. It's been a week now, but I'm, I'm still there, like, in my head. So we spontaneously got tickets because we didn't know she was performing, because I actually live in London, and I didn't know I was going to come home for so long, so it was very impulsive, and I felt like it was one of those moments where you're like, we're, we're just going to go. So that's literally what's happening right now. So it's Sunday, the 23rd of July, and we're going to go see her in Seattle. Um, we're leaving at 12, it's now 11-ish, and I'm just in the process of getting ready, so just got my hair and pigtails, got some makeup on, got my, my dress on, and I'm just putting on these bedazzled diamonds I bought at Claire's, is what they look like. On Amazon, if you ever need these for a festival, or if you're going to a Taylor Swift concert soon, on Amazon it's like 12 bucks for like six of these, but this was like 20 bucks for one. I was quite desperate because I was super last minute, but if you're more prepared than me, which you probably are, Amazon is the best place for these. Taylor Swift. Anyway, it's 11 now, we're leaving at 12, so I'm just gonna chill a bit and then get my stuff together and then go. We made it to Trader Joe's and Emma and I got some snacks here. I actually don't think you can see any of it. But we just got wraps and uh, kombucha. She got coconut water. And we're now gonna head down to the stadium to find parking. Um, I think it'll take us ages, but we'll have to see how we get on. almost six and we've actually only made it. The car ride was insane. This lighting is so intense. We found this little parking lot on the side of the field. We're not sure how it will go, um, but Emma's just parked her car getting her shoes on and then we're going to head into the field. But we literally drove for almost six hours, which is insane. So I think we have to go up like two or three flights of stairs before, but this is the entrance door to ground floor. These bad boys and we're now in the stadium. So excited. So we're going down here and then to the left out there. Grabbing a drink. Right here. Almost there. No. We're here. Three, four, four. Fun fact, 
my sisters and I had the honor of playing Taylor's evil stepsisters. These songs that we're about to sing together for the next three and a half hours, they're songs that I wrote about my life. when we couldn't do live shows. Um, and so I just decided, you know what? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna record and release as many albums as humanly possible in this time. And though I can't call your face, I still got one for you. Your braids make a pattern. Love you to the moon and to Saturn. It's in the way that I made this album before. I, I started writing this album about two days into the pandemic. very much for watching my Taylor Swift vlog. I've got to say I honestly adored that night. Like it is one of my top 10 best things that has ever happened to me because I've been a huge Taylor Swift fan since I was 11. It was just such a dream come true and I think because it was so impulsive and so last minute it just made the experience better and if you are debating whether you want to go or if you've got a ticket and you're looking forward to it, A, you should definitely go. It was literally incredible i think it's so worth the money even if you get a nosebleed ticket because it's your first concert in five years which is insane um i i just can't believe it i guess COVID took up like four years already and before that she was just doing bits of her lover tour um but also because this is a tour where she has all of her albums in it so you literally feel like you're going through every age of your life like when she was playing you belong with me i was like oh my god i'm like elementary school slash high school singing the song about a boy I liked in grade 8 and it's just like it just brings you right back and the concert performance itself like her videos and how she's choreographed them is just literally spectacular like it's just mind-blowing how amazing it is and it just the sound was such good quality and you're just there and there's like thousands of Swifties just screaming and it's just literally such a crazy amazing vibe it was amazing you should definitely go and if you're looking forward to it like you have every single reason to i per se did not have 
a very close seat so i sat very far back um since our tickets were quite last minute but i still think even at a really far seat away you get a really good view of the stage and all the lights everyone's wearing so you get a wristband and it syncs to the concert so you can actually see it a lot more prominently and you can see all the cool stage lights that flash when different songs go on so even if you're far back and you don't see taylor super super up close you still get such a good experience from it the merch line itself was extremely long so if you want a cool taylor swift hoodie i highly recommend you pick a time during when she's performing maybe a song you don't favor as much just to sneak out and buy the hoodies and the concert merch gear i did find when i bought mine which was right after the concert um, me and my cousin left a bit earlier because we had to drive home um i found that was the perfect time i only waited in line for like two or three minutes but in the beginning of the concert the line actually went out of the stadium it was insane so I'd recommend you go when she's kind of giving the roll call and then maybe sneak back in to your seat after she's finished. Also say you will not be overdressed. Like if you're thinking of a dress and you're concerned it's gonna be extra, like please don't. Like everyone was gorgeously dressed. Like girls were in like replicas of Taylor's fearless dress and it was just bedazzled and they had like the most beautiful makeup on. Like everyone looked amazing. It felt like just like a huge girls night like there were some guys of course but it was predominantly women and it was just like a huge girls night everyone was in their prettiest dresses like singing songs about love and heartbreak and it was just that vibe so if you're feeling a bit concerned about being over performative in your appearance like honestly don't you'll be so so fine you'll be like oh i actually underdressed when you get there because everyone will be so dressed to the nines and a few of the things that i noticed that i would probably do differently is that i wouldn't eat in the stadium because we came down into seattle a lot later we didn't have much choice but to eat at the stadium we got a little trader joe's action but it, it would just just don't eat at the stadium i paid like 12 usd for a canned beer and it was bud light i mean fraud so i'd highly recommend if you're a foodie like i am you should eat somewhere else before you go to the stadium and i feel like this might just be me being very new to going to concerts like i've only ever been to one other concert in my life but i would have thought the hot dog would have been like a bit more impressive like a costco hot dog also if you aren't a huge mega swifty where you would want to go trade bracelets and things i'd recommend going later on like at seven or something so she has two opening acts one is gracie adams and the other is haim and gracie adams i hope i'm saying her name right i pray to god i think that's what it is it's been a few days now um she plays for around 45 minutes and then there's like a bit of a gap for 15 minutes and then haim play for like 30 minutes and then there's another gap and then there'll be a countdown to when taylor comes out personally i would have been okay missing the beginning bit um to do other things like go eat or go have a drink or um do something else because we didn't have much time in seattle um and the only reason is because i'm not really attuned to their music my main priority was to see taylor swift so i feel like i would have been okay to miss those parts of it and also because you don't really know what's gonna happen it was really hard to like time it to when you had to go to the washroom so every time i'd be like is this a good time to go to the washroom because there's a huge line out and i probably have to wait like 10 minutes for the washroom but i don't want to miss taylor swift's opening i feel like that would be like the most heartbreaking crushing thing is to like go to a concert and miss the first part of it that's probably the most epic part too so it was kind of hard to time and i think taylor times her start time to when the sun sets because once she gets to around folklore reputation all the music goes dark so she wants it to be dark and the lights to show more so that's why i think in seattle the second day she started a lot later it was like almost 8 30 and i was just there like nervous every time i had to go use the washroom because i was drinking so much beer so please avoid my mistakes and know that she probably is going to play a lot later than you think and if you ask me if I would do it again, I would say, hell yeah, I would do it again. Um, she's actually playing in the UK, which is where I live, so I might go see her again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now? Till the morning light falls